Hi, so the first thing I'm going to do next time is to change our name and start with A, so uh, to go first. But uh, we're going to make it as well very simple and we'll try to move quickly through our app. So in less than 70 minutes, what we're going to do, we're going to actually show you an onboarding and opening a bank account. So today, as you know, the, the internet from the inception, it hasn't been, there, there hasn't been an, ident an identity layer, and that has caused a lot of friction. And if you can see, especially right now with the digital onboarding, a lot of the messages we're hearing today, how, we can how can we take that friction outside of the customer journey? And what we're going to show you today, it's a full onboarding, including full verification within the time that Thomas is going to take, which hopefully going to bring us to around two minutes. We're going to expand it a little bit so we can go through more details and explaining what's going on. So when I hand over later, we're going to take you through that journey. We're going to show you how you can actually do a full KYC, a complete verification, paperless, formless, and frictionless. And this is also the next phase within next year. We're also going to, inc we're going to move into corporates. So we are working with some of our partners especially within the government where we're going to start to bring in verifications into companies and that include ownership, include as well um, empl employee data and all of that. So all of the verification that you need to do today, that's actually taking a lengthy time. That's what we're actually going to help to reduce dramatically. So I'm going to hand over to Thomas right now who's going to take you through a use case, one use case which is opening a bank account. and having the complete verification, including your K complete KYC, a complete AML within the time that is going to take him, and then and we'll have a complete fledged account that has been opened. Thomas? All right. Thank you, Mohammed. Um, let's wait until my screen and then proceed. Okay, here you see uh, our demo app, which uh, shows how we think you should open a bank account in the future. Um, the first thing... Uh, I open a bank account, I say I want to open a bank account, and then it tells me, okay, first we need to scan your Emirates ID card, and uh, we need to scan uh, your passports. And the following screens will tell us how we do it. So I press continue, and then uh, I start to onboard my Emirates ID card. And we do it a little bit different, so we don't do OCR, uh, we read the chips from the card. So I put my phone on the card, and it will start reading the NFC data from the chip. Those data are digitally signed, so we're 100% sure they have been issued by the government. All right. So in the next step, I will onboard my passport. It works in the same way. Again, I put my phone on the passport, and it will read the biometric chip from the passport. So now I onboarded uh, both documents and uh, they are verified. In the next step, I will do a face of recognition to uh, ensure it's really me who onboards these documents. I press continue. So the flickering you see there is to make sure that it is actually a liveness detection, to make sure it is a person, it's a skin tone, and it's not a picture or a video. Okay, so the facial recognition was successful. Now uh, it got all the data from the card, so it shows my name, the picture from the Emirates ID card, uh, even my phone number. Uh, I can add additional fields, for example, my email address. It's, uh, for example, me at uh, uq.do. And then I press continue. Um, we can verify the phone number. We send an SMS OTP to your phone number. You enter, you confirm the number, and then you can continue. And now we have also a verified phone number. Uh, so in the next step, uh, we have to do some background checks. We know your identity, but uh, we might want to go uh, connect to uh, some government organization to get your employer details, to get your salary certificate, and all this kind of information. We also want to connect to third parties to do ML checks and maybe even connect to the credit bureau. And we ask the user to consent to those kind of things, so we make sure um, you agree to those, to those kind of things. So I press consent, and then we do all the checks in the background. Once they are done, um, we enroll your fingerprint. So whenever you use your online banking uh, next, uh, then you just log in with your fingerprint. 
and after that, uh, your bank account is opened uh, and you're able to use it. Yeah. So what we showed here is just the onboarding use case, but our platform goes beyond the onboarding. It also goes into managing the customers within your system and to connect to, uh, to the different product and services so you can have a 360 view of your customer. It also go extend beyond that into authentication. How can we move from username and password? How we can use different methods of authentication to authenticate to the app or to authenticate for our services? So imagine if you are able to enable a, a transactions that you haven't been able to do before. So for example, a high, uh, a high transaction value that you want to do from the phone. If you can able to verify Emirates ID and official recognition, that is, we can argue that that's more secure than sending one to the branch or doing it from, from, from a laptop. And this is where we're looking at the whole journey. While, while we're doing that verification and, and taking that friction, but also we're making it more secure. So the whole, your whole customer, your whole customer interaction with the organization, whether it's a telco, a bank, an insurance company, or even government services. Thank you.